Pass up the Jeep, it's good to be free. Load up the pans and fishing poles. The highway is long, the wheels turning round. Pack up the cook stove and the bowls. Arlo and I, we hit the open road. Arlo and I are on the road. Hey everybody, I'm out and about again today at the end of the day. The beautiful sunset, you can see the sunset behind uh, that smoke. That smoke is coming from forest fire uh, down on the rim, I think down below the rim. But it's coming up here and the sun shining through, it's really pretty. Um, but what I want to show you today is a plant that's called um, Navajo tea. Um, it's actually called uh, green thread, um, often called Navajo tea or Hopi tea, um, sometimes kota, um, or uh, sometimes wild tea, um, depending on who you ask. Um, but here it is right here. That. Um, and it's all over this area here. Here's a bunch of it uh, right here. And now this beautiful plant has been harvested for thousands of years by the native peoples in the southwest. Um, and it, uh, um, it's typically uh, dried, uh, so you collect uh, these sort of long stems with the little flower heads on it, um, and then uh, we dry it. We're going to take it home and we're going to wash it. Um, and then uh, it's typically wrapped in a bundle um, similar to this, and then tied, and then kept throughout the year um, after it dries uh, for tea. And it makes a beautiful, uh, sort of a brownish, orangish tea. Um, it tastes delicious on its own. Um, it tastes great as an iced tea. And it also tastes uh, really wonderful um, with honey um, or any other sweetener that you might like. Um, but this is really a uh, very traditional um, uh, and uh, delicious tea. So I'm going to try to collect um, a little bit of this and make a few of these bundles when we get home. And uh, so I have some for the winter time. You can see the sun starting to dip behind the hills there, but this is just a perfect time of day uh, to be out and uh, collecting tea. These are older, so it just has sort of the, the drying uh, seed pods and seed heads um, from this. Um, but when a little earlier in the summer, uh, the plant has, um, you know, like a beautiful yellow petals. Uh, traditionally, um, this plant, when it's harvested, um, you're supposed to uh, kind of shake the tops here so it disperses the seeds and you don't want to collect, you know, all of the plant. Um, just take uh, some of it um, above ground. You don't want to pull it up by the roots. And then, uh, it'll be back here next year when we come back. Look at that sky. It's crazy. The colors of orange as the uh, sun shining through that smoke. Well, the sun is getting low in the sky. It's almost dipping behind uh, the hill there. Uh, but I thought that I would make a little bit of this Navajo tea uh, while we're out here. I made a little bundle yesterday, so this one is nice and dry. It's a little big for a small teapot, um, but this will work good. Okay. Put it in there. We well, can see over there where the fire started and now it's down uh, below the rim and it's coming up and going all the way across here and then off into the distance. Now over there is Winslow down in that direction. Um, so you can see it's just traveling north here. Now I made a video um, a couple days ago um, when they were I was showing the uh, actually the fire crews dropping um, water that they were picking up at the lake uh, down onto the fire down below 
Um, so scroll back and you'll find that video. And that video will be called uh, Manzanita Vinaigrette, where I was out collecting Manzanita berries and the fire crews were flying above me. So uh, check that out. But that's the same fire that's going on right here. Um, this is just a few days later. Um, and we're up above the rim here. You can see. Look at that. That's insane. <laughs> but our tea has come to a boil. Look at that. It's boiling nicely in there. Um, at this point, I'm going to turn our fire down just a little bit. And let that kind of gently uh, simmer in there. I think our tea is just about ready. Yeah. Hmm. Smells really good. Okay. I'll let this steep. I'm gonna turn. Actually, turn the fire off completely at this point. In the meantime, I'm gonna go back to the jeep and get my tea cup. Up. Let's see. Look at the color, the pretty color of that tea. Let's see, it's a nice orange color. Okay. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Look, I can see the color of that, a beautiful orange color. Oh, almost the same color as the sunset over there, with the sun shining through the smoke. This tea is so flavorful and delicious. Oh, and I can see why it's been a favorite uh, for so long. delicious and warming and it's starting to get a little bit cooler out now in the middle of September now I um, definitely feel a difference in the weather it's been oh I don't know in the 60s during the day and the 50s um, at night um, so man look at that look at that uh, that smoke that's just crazy tea would be even better with just a tiny little bit of honey. It tastes so good um, as it is. And the cool thing is it just grows all over the place out here, all over the hills. Once you get into that sort of um, juniper, um, pinyon pine, um, kind of a, kind of a uh, thing, you uh, start seeing the, uh, the green thread, the uh, Thelosperma, um, Navajo tea, Hopi tea. So I'm going to be coming out here um, next couple days um, and uh, collecting some more um, and making a bunch of bundles. When I get home, I'm going to take the, uh, the tea that I collected today and I'm going to wash it really well and I'm going to uh, lay it out on some paper towels and uh, let it dry out and then I will show you in the morning um, how to uh, uh, tie them up into bundles, at least the traditional way.
just gonna sit here uh, for a couple more minutes and uh, finish my tea and watch the rest of the sun uh, disappear in the distance there and uh, just enjoy the rest of the evening and then head back home <laughs> but I appreciate you following along once again um, if you like this video uh, please like uh, please subscribe that always helps us a lot and we'll see you in the next one all right bye bye gas up the cheek it's fun to be free load up the pans and fishing poles Arlo and I we hit the open road Arlo and I